Geeks. Tim Tibbetts here with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to look at W10 Privacy. Uh, it was a request via YouTube to show them the program. I'll do the best I can, but it's a program that probably would take a half hour of your time. But if you really want to tweak out your computer and you're concerned about privacy, it's a tough one to beat. You will get the download extracted into a folder, which I've done here. Open that folder up. Find W10 Privacy with the icon. Right-click it run it as administrator give it about 10 seconds to get started up or so and once it starts up we can show you all the different categories and why it takes so long to run this program first off creating a system restore point it's almost always a good idea verify it yourself or don't then you now can see you have green yellow and red they should be obvious you have your little mouse over tool tips here a uh, good example, green is usually okay, yellow is questionable, red is you probably shouldn't mess with it. Now one of the reasons, for example, here is it says right on the screen, if you uninstall those apps, they're gone. They're not coming back. Now that's not necessarily a problem unless you uninstall an app that works with a different app that you're using on your computer. So you want to be pretty sure if you take any of these out that you know what you're doing. So again, your best bet is to start right with the privacy and work your way through the green, kind of glance at the yellow, see if you like anything in there, and keep right on going. Now I like some of the bonus stuff in here, showing protected operating system files, hidden files, and I like to remove shortcut suffix, which will take these little arrows right here on your shortcuts on your desktop and remove them. So it goes much above and beyond the privacy stuff. Disabling optimization services, again, when you line your mouse over it, it's going to tell you what it does. That doesn't necessarily make it clear for you, so you may need to Google for it. So your best get, again, is to start with the green. Before you do anything, go to your configuration and hit save, or preferably save as. The reason I say save as is, depending on how much you're going to do, this will be the first saving. So I, I think I have a privacy one in there now. Let's do save. There you go. So now we saved it under one. Now what you want to do is go through, pick all the different stuff you want to do. Go ahead and hit the set change settings. Again, it's going to take a few minutes to go in and do everything, depending on the speed of your computer. Uh, anywhere from 10 seconds to 30 seconds to a minute, depending on how many, there you go, how many programs you actually modify. Now that we've done this, let's not be foolish and let's make sure we go to save as and this time we're going to go to save as two you can name it anything you want that makes sense to you and save it so now that we've made an original save we've made a second save that makes sure that we have some of the simple stuff so go through and pick the stuff you're comfortable with now you've got it saved so if you feel like going further into depth you can keep right on going here a lot of this stuff like edge you can actually do through the browser but hey why not OneDrive, I'm not a fan. As you can see, I pretty much removed everything. I don't use it. I use images for my drive. I have no use for it. Uh, I keep a couple terabytes off to the side for all that stuff. And I keep an external drive as well. So once again, disabling Windows Update, obviously in red, always a bad idea, and so on and so forth. Again, I could go through this, and it would take forever to go through each and every one of them. Just be extremely careful with the yellow. Be extremely careful with the red. And just play around with the green stuff for now. Once you get through the green stuff, Stuff, then you can consider playing around with the So do it step by step, save it as you go, and that way you don't get in any kind of trouble. And you also have your restore point, so there should be nothing that would harm anything, especially since I can always come back in, go to my configuration, go to my load, and I can um, come over here. There's a W10 privacy original, one and two. So now I can go to here, load that. And as you can see, some of the stuff that I mentioned, where'd it go? See now the OneDrive is now back to where I left it unchecked. So now you can actually set the change settings and you can always go right back to where you were in case you hit a snag. So do a little at a time, maybe 10 at a time, something like that. Take your time with it and uh, you shouldn't have any problems with it whatsoever. So again, there's other programs that do it basically, never 10, stuff like that. Oh no, never 10, I think, blocks the Windows 10 upgrade. But there's a video on here that shows five of these. And a lot of them are a little simple or just run them and, and pretty much go. But if you want to get geeky with it, and this is Major Geeks, here you go. As always, we thank you for watching. We'd love it if you subscribed. And hopefully we'll see you next time.